we're going to make dark chocolate black magic cake. So let's get started. First you're going to need a bowl and we're going to start off by using two cups of granulated sugar into the bowl. We're going to put one and three quarter cup cups of all-purpose flour, three quarters of a cup of baking cocoa into the bowl, two teaspoons of baking soda, one teaspoon of baking powder, and I'm just going to start blending that in, one teaspoon of salt. Now with your spatula just go ahead and blend this dry mix together in the bowl. Just combine it as best you can. You're also going to put in two large eggs at room temperature into your bowl. And you're going to need either one cup of buttermilk or sour milk. So I didn't have buttermilk, so what I'm going to use is one tablespoon of white vinegar into actually a cup of milk. Once you combine the white vinegar into the, into the milk, it becomes sour milk. So that is that came into one cup altogether with the vinegar and the milk. You're also going to need at least one cup of very strong black coffee, but if you don't want to do that, when I went ahead and took, you can use two teaspoons of actually uh, instant coffee, and you're going to need one cup of hot water, which I just put that water in my microwave, and I'm just going to give that a quick stir. And I'm going to put that also in. You're also going to need a half a cup of vegetable oil. What's nice about this recipe, you put everything together. It's very quick, very fast. And the last thing is one teaspoon of vanilla. Now with the hand mixer, we're going to start off at about medium, just to start combining all of this. Now this particular batter should be actually mixed for about two minutes, but I'm going to do it a little bit of shorter amount of time because of the video. I'm going to raise my speed up a little bit, and I'm going to combine all the batter together, work the sides of my bowl, so I can see everything's been mixed well. And again, you should do this for about two minutes. Now this particular batter is going to come out very thin, but that's okay. It's going to come out just great. So I'm just going to raise my speed, and I'm going to combine this to hurry this along a little bit. But again, you do want to spend at least a couple minutes doing that. And then I'm just going to clean the sides of the bowl. And I'm going to show you how very thin this batter does come out. It's quite watery, but don't worry about that. Now you can um, use uh, two 8-inch round pans or a 13 by 9. And I went ahead and I put a shortening and dusted it with flour. So I'm just going to pour that in to my 13 by 9 pan. Now this is going to have to be placed in a 350 degree oven and it is going to take anywhere from, from 30 minutes to 35 minutes. But again, uh, test it with your toothpick or your cake tester. So I'm going to try to get all the batter out of the bowl. And just tap it a bit for any air bubbles and again bake it at 350 for 30 to 35 minutes. Now I went ahead and baked one ahead of time and you want to do this while it's still hot uh, and the cake is quite warm right now. So I want to show that to you what this 
black chocolate cake looks like. It's very pretty. Next, what you're going to do is you're going to need a cup of actual uh, colored marshmallows. If you don't want to use the colored marshmallows, you can just go ahead and um, use white marshmallows. And I think I'm going to put a little bit more on them. The recipe calls for one, but you really do need about two cups of these. So, because I like to put quite a bit on there. And just try to do them as evenly as possible all over the cake. What happens now is the cake is still warm, or do this when it's very, very hot, and the marshmallows actually just start to melt in there. Next, what I went ahead and did is I actually just melted in the microwave two-thirds of a cup of chocolate chips. And what you're going to do is you're just going to drizzle this up and down the cake. You don't have to be fussy with it because the cake is hot, so everything should pretty well melt together. My chocolate has set up just a little bit in the time it was sitting on the counter here, so once it um, would be warmer, it would go on a little bit better than this, what's happening right now. But again, it has set up due to it sitting with the video. But I'll try to get this all out of there anyway. And with my clean hands that I just washed, I'll just use the rest of it. But as your chocolate is um, very warm, uh, you'll be able to drizzle it much easier. Um, and there you go. Uh, your 13 by 9 cake. This pan is still quite hot. Give it a try. I hope you like this recipe. And thanks for watching, and please subscribe.